everyone and welcome to my channel if you are new i'd absolutely love it if you would pause the video now and hit the subscribe button i can't believe this is the final day of haul week honestly this week has gone so quickly but today's video is a top shop and stradivarius haul for you to finish off autumn haul week not gonna lie, I feel like Topshop need a good talking to because honestly, I really, really struggled to find pieces for today's video to the point where I was thinking, am I just ordering things for the sake of it? Like maybe I'll just scrap Topshop from Autumn Hall Week. Usually with Topshop, it's one of my favorite brands. I'm usually so spoiled for choice. And honestly, someone needs to have a word with their buying team. I did see a few really nice pieces that I love that I'll hopefully get lots of wear out of over the next few months and i've got an amazing pair of boots from stradivarius that i literally can't wait to show you so all links will be below in the description box to everything included in today's video including what i'm wearing today this dress is gorgeous it's from lorna Lux's collection within the style so if it's in stock i will link it below because i know her collection has a tendency to sell out really really quickly so without further ado i'm gonna get straight into the video i feel like it's bittersweet i'm so like sad that whole week is coming to an end but hey ho so the first thing i picked up was this gorgeous jacket from Topshop. So it's this like faux leather long line jacket. I don't actually know the official name of this jacket. So if you do know, pop a little comment below, but it's got this gorgeous like Borg fabric on the collar running all the way through on the pockets. And then that is what it looks like from the back. So I had something very similar to this from Pretty Little Thing last season, but this is just a nicer quality. It feels really warm. So I got this one in a size eight. It was 79.99. So a little bit on the pricier side for a jacket, but I definitely think this is something that you can have in your wardrobe for many years to come. I'm really here for these big deep pockets which i can fit all my essentials in i absolutely love that one i think it's going to be a key piece for autumn i don't know if i regret not rising up in this one i did get an eight and i usually do size up in my outerwear but i think for this because it's going to be so warm i'm probably just going to wear a really light jumper underneath it's got these button big button details which are concealed which i really really like i just think it's such a lovely jacket it looks way more expensive than it is and yeah really good quality it also doesn't have that like faux leather fishy smell either so yeah love this one i couldn't not pick up these faux leather leggings so you would have seen in my Zara haul, no, the Zara Mango haul, I featured a pair of faux leather leggings from Zara. Really, really like them. The only thing is they were quite hard to pull up my leg. These ones, oh my goodness, they're so comfortable. They've got like a stretch in them. So when I tried them on before this video, I literally put my leg in and was like, woo! I was actually shocked by how smooth they went up like my leg. They have an elasticated waistband, which for me is so important in faux leather leggings. They've got a zip fastening down the side like that, and also a button fastening, which I find really helps to keep them up. And then the inside is that really nice, like felty material. So they'll keep you really warm as it gets a little bit colder. I mean, we're meant to be having a heat wave this weekend, uh, Monday, Tuesday. I mean, literally I'm here trying, I feel like I'm flogging a dead horse. I'm like, link in description box, buy this fluffy autumn coat and it's 100 degrees. I absolutely love these. I think these ones are a definite keeper. I'm gonna send the Zara ones back because these are just so comfortable. And I got these ones in a size eight and they were 35.99. So they are a little bit more expensive than the Zara ones but they're so comfortable they're gonna honestly these are a key piece to have in your autumn wardrobe because you can just wear them with so many things rotate them make them casual make them dressy the next piece i'm going to show you i had in mind to start with these faux leather leggings as more of like a night outlet and it's this leopard print blouse absolutely gorgeous it's quite sheer so it's probably a case where you wear a nude bra underneath or a really pretty black lace bra or even just a, what are they called? Like a t-shirt bra. So I really love the attention to detail here. You've got this like crinkled effect, cuffed, elasticated wrist detail. It's got this really nice high collar detail as well. I just thought together as an outfit, that's such a cute look. You could put a pair of heels with that, a pair of ankle boots, 
I just really, really love this. And I feel like animal print, it's just so timeless. It never goes out of fashion. I feel like it comes into its own during, you know, the colder months. And I'm really, really impressed with this. So like I said, it is a thin material. So do bear that in mind. It's not gonna keep you the warmest, but I feel like it is more of a dressier piece. So this one I got in a size eight. I'd definitely say stick to your usual size in this one. And this one was 35.99. So you may have seen an animal print shirt very similar to this in my Zara haul. And I'm really undecided on which one I prefer. So if you saw my Zara haul, if you didn't, I will leave it on the screen here. You will have to let me know which one you think I should keep because I don't need two animal print shirts, but I'm just so undecided. I just don't, oh, I really don't know because one's snake print and one's leopard print. <laughs> Moving on to a cute little dress. I really love this. I think because it's long sleeved, it makes it a little bit more versatile and you can take it into autumn. You can layer a cardigan with it. You could layer a jumper over the top. So it's got this really pretty floral print and then this ruffle detail on the front and then it ties up at the top like that. It's also got a little cute ruffle like peplum detail here and then it goes down and it's got a little ruffle kind of hem. Really, really cute. It's quite a thin material again, but this one is great for now, just paired with bare legs and a ch kind of chunky Chelsea boot like the ASOS ones that I featured in my ASOS haul. But again, this is definitely something you can pair with a black tie. You actually receive a lot of DMs on Instagram about the dresses that I am like posting on there and I'm at the minute wearing them with bare legs and boots and a lot of people are asking me if it's something I can wear black tights with which is obviously something to think about as it does get a bit colder and this is definitely something I'd pair with black tights with over the knee boots would look amazing all round love this and I love the little plunging back detail here as well so I got this one in a size 8 I'd say it's definitely true to size and this one was $29.99 so as far as like a Topshop dress goes I feel like that's really Really reasonable and you could even dress this one up as well I feel like a good dress for a family function or something like that um, I just really really like this I think I'll even pair this with a spotty tie as well because I love a spotty tie for autumn so that was all the top shop pieces believe it or not I really really was struggling to be inspired by anything on the website so I didn't want to just order things for the sake of it like I want to be honest with you guys and if I wouldn't recommend it to my best friend or my mum I'm not going to push it on to you guys so moving on to Stradivarius I picked up a few key pieces for my autumn staple wardrobe. So the first thing is a pair of tie-dye joggers. So I did go tie-dye mad during lockdown, I'm not gonna lie. And I just love these. They sell out so quickly whenever they are stocked on any website. So they've got this elasticated waistband, they're really nice and stretchy, and then they've got the cuffed ankle, which for me is so important. And I just love the color of this tie-dye. I feel like it's kind of a little bit more autumnal. The ones that I have currently in my wardrobe are more like pastel-y. So I feel like this is definitely something I could pair with just like a camel jumper if I'm working from home or if I want to go out the house run some errands I could throw a blazer over it or something like a nude blazer a brown blazer so this does come with a matching hoodie but personally I just wanted the joggers I wanted to keep it plain and simple and kind of just pair nude kind of knitwear or something like that with it so I've got these ones in a small and they were $19.99 so yeah I literally love these talking of brown blazers I picked up this oversized brown blazer so typically i wouldn't usually reach for a, a brown blazer a camel blazer yes a nude blazer yes but brown not so sure but this really reminds me it basically reminds me of like a dairy milk bar or a hot chocolate and i love how autumnal it is i think you can style this so many ways with jeans and also with like nude knitwear, with camel knitwear. I just love those autumn rust tones. They just remind me of like a conquer, pumpkin spice latte, all things that autumn are about that I love. So yeah, I got this one in a small and it did say oversized fit on the model. And you know me, I do love oversized. So I was like, I'll stick to a small, but I will say it is quite oversized. I feel like the like built-in shoulder pads just I feel like the way they sit I don't know if it makes me a little bit square 
but I do really really like this I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and actually I thought this paired together would be super cool with like a pair of my Balenciaga trainers something like that would just be really effortless outfit that I can go and walk to the coffee shop in or brunch at the weekend which let's face it have become the highlights of like my week so yeah it actually says on here it's time to keep your daddish groove with the loose fit blazer get a 90s dad inspired silhouette tailored in an oversized fit and pad it at the shoulders so i think the top of my head this was around 40 pounds feels like a really nice quality it's lined inside as you can see i do appreciate that oversized silhouettes may not be for everyone but i love them if you love my style then probably you're gonna love this too so the last piece from this video that i wanted to show you are wait for it i need a drum roll guys <laughs> these boots oh my goodness i am beyond obsessed so they're these lace-up boots they're in this like nudie mushroomy color i don't know cream maybe so they've got cream laces on the front they fasten with a zip down the side and what I love about these is this cleated sole. They remind me so much of the Balenciagas. I am here for a chunky boot. I love them. The way these come up on my leg as well, they're super flattering. They don't cut me off. I am going to wear these because I was really struggling. Obviously, I said, been banging on this whole, whole week how I'm just going to be living in neutrals for autumn. But sometimes when I feel you wear neutral like a neutral color palette you need neutral accessories to go with it i feel like if you've got like i don't know new jeans and then black shoes it can be quite a contrast like as you can see it's almost monochrome so i saw these i instantly fell in love i know Bersh could do a very similar pair but personally just preferred this style but look at the sole be doing a lot of kicking in those um but yeah i'm here for them the quality feels amazing on these like they're not real leather but they feel like real leather i've put them on i've walked around the house in these and yeah they feel really really comfortable they're not going to give me any blisters which is music to my ears let's face it so i will say a word of warning with these i do think they run big so i would size down probably i did originally order these in a seven tried them on my foot was flapping around all over the place so i reordered them in a six i literally panic ordered them like oh they're gonna sell out and the six are so much better so yeah i love these i'm not i know i'm gonna get so much wear out of these even with my cute little pleated like mini skirts that you've seen in autumn hall week so guys that is the end of my top shop and stradivarius haul and also the end of haul week sad face i really hope that you've enjoyed autumn hall week and that you have enjoyed coming along this week with me and watching all my videos and getting some inspo for autumn i really hope i haven't dented your bank balance and if i have i'm really sorry at least you're going to be stylish for autumn so hopefully just sharing is caring now that autumn hall week is over i feel like i need some direction on what you guys want to see from me next i i'm like oh i think my next video is going to be a key capsule autumn wardrobe essentials video so i'll be including i don't know like 10 pieces that you all need to create your key capsule wardrobe for autumn so yeah stay tuned for that and um yeah if you've made it to the end of the video comment with faux leather leggings and we will see who has made it i love reading your guys comments i love seeing that all of you are actually watching to the end and commenting with the buzzword honestly it makes me so happy like making these videos for you guys and you actually watching them makes my year to be honest so don't forget to subscribe if you are new check out my instagram as well it's at Gemma Talbot. i'll leave the handle on the screen here and yeah just come along with me over the next few months because i'm gonna after the heat wave i feel like i can't do like a cozy autumn evening routine with you guys when it feels like indian summer so <laughs> yeah i just can't wait to get all autumn with you drink pumpkin spice lattes and oat milk hot chocolates and get you to come on my youtube journey with me when i hopefully next hit my milestone of 10k so have a lovely weekend guys see you very soon in my next video and yeah happy autumn week bye